Welcome back. Tonight there's two girls I want you to meet, Ginny and Raphael. They're the hosts of Double Set. That's F Sharp TV's weekly band showcase. Double Set is recorded on location at Fifi La Frock, a clothes store in the East Village that 10th Street can't live without. It rocks, and it's where you'll want to be later. These entrepreneurial ladies were once in a band called the Cycle Sluts from Hell, and now their band's called the Creeps. They're also appearing in movies and all kinds of stuff we'll find out about. Tonight as well, since it's a showcase vibe, we're going to go over to Don Hills to check out the Mistress from Micah's Squeeze Box Friday Night. Her latest pick is one to check out. night at Coney Island High, right? Saturday nights. Uh, tell me a little bit about corruption. It's a, every other Saturday, opposite Green Door. Um, What's the difference between corruption and Green Door? Well, originally the club wanted to do its own party, because Green Door was always every other Saturday, on the opposing Saturdays. So, um, I, I kind of had it foisted on me. It wasn't something that I originally wanted to do. So what I did was I... Um, Essentially, just uh, make the DJ play what I want to hear, or what I think my friends want to hear. And I want to hear um, music that you can dance to, but rock music, or some 70s disco. And um, I have go-go dancers, and they're all people that I want to see dancing. And um, I have a guy that does visuals, and really it's just, I just try to make it the kind of party that I would want to hang out at. What's been the biggest challenge with corruption as far as planning a party? I mean, when you're planning a party, is is, is it safe net being at Coney Island High or, or is it still... Yeah, I have it a little bit easier than some people, some promoters, because I already have a Saturday night and opposite Green Door um, doesn't hurt either. Um, for me, it's that I don't really have a promoter personality and um, I've had to develop that a little bit, you know. Play hostess? I, yeah, I don't mind hostessing, but promoting is, is not something that I would automatically decide that I wanted to do, but it's been good for me to see that I can do it, and it's a, you know, a really good party, so it Yeah, works. it's a great party. <laughs> I have lots of fun at Corruption. Uh, now, Jenny, um, <clears throat> we're here at Fifi La Frock, and, and how has it been for you, the store? You're open now how many months? Three months. Has it a big life change for you? Yeah, working in the day. It's unbelievable. I haven't worked in the day. Well, a slight period in my life. But it's, it's okay, because it's mine. It's like another thing to do besides bartending. But I still want to do the music and acting and, you know. But people come and I have fun with them here and Tell so me close. They... Yeah. <laughs> Same kind of people come here that come to corruption. Gay and straight. We have all kinds of people. They come all to the pick crazies. out their outfits here. <laughs> yes, they come <laughs> here and then they go to corruption or they go on stage. <laughs> uh, they have your, your taste to help them, which is great because they, they can uh, really walk out looking good. Well, how did you get the idea of having the store? Because I had two apartments filled to the brim with clothes <laughs> and I was being buried. And it was either that or, you know. Suffocate. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, but do you, so do you run every aspect of the store yourself? Yes. And um, is bookkeeping like a new thing for you? Or <laughs> I haven't done them yet. No. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> the business. Oh, okay. We won't talk about that. Yeah, it's tough. But. It's tough, right? Now, how about opening and getting here by a certain time? That's got to be. Well, luckily, like in New Jersey, you have to. If you say you're open at one, if you're not open, you can get a fine, right? That's yeah. what I heard. Oh, really? But here, wow, I didn't know that. Luckily, that doesn't happen because I'm not always on time. But oh. I'm here every day except Monday. How about Sundays? Uh, you... I have somebody work, but you know, if I have to do something, if I have to go do a gig or an acting thing, then I'm, I'm gone. I mean, I'd like to just shop. <laughs> I never be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because actually you're still the buyer for the store, well, too, that's, right? That's my goal. The uh, buying? Yes, just being a buyer. You know, speaking of things that you've just been working on currently, uh, you just both were in a film, right? The uh, film called... Uh, electric, the electric Urn. Electric Urn. The Electric Urn. So, now, tell me, with The Electric Urn, you, you, tell me about the role that you played. Uh, um, I just had a really small part. I was the Kaboom Girl. <sighs> What did that entail? <laughs> well, I said kaboom a couple times. I just had a part. I, I was kind of her partner. The band was in the movie as well. And um, we were just two. Uh, I just played a really bitchy girl, essentially. And I just had you know, two or three lines. Uh, did, was this uh, something you really enjoyed? Or would you prefer yeah, being was, a performer? Yeah, it was great. I'm, I'm glad that the part was mercifully short. Because, <laughs> you know, it was my first acting role. Oh, yeah? Uh, and, um... You know, so it was, I think it was a little easier on me than it was on her because she had a lot more lines. But it was great. I loved it. It was fun and uh, pretty natural. So you do more films? Oh, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. If anybody asks me. Yeah. <laughs> and you are in the market. Uh, but how about you, Ginny? Uh, what about you? Were you the same? Um, you yeah, I was a else? bitchy, uh, demented, screwed up girl. Now, was this hard? <laughs> well, I, I was doing the art direction stuff, too, so that I will never do again. It was such hard work. Why? But it may, because I got down off the ladder to do my acting role, yeah. you know? <laughs> right. I was working really hard. You would rather have done the acting? Yeah, just that. Right. How did you like art directing? I mean, I like doing it. It's like decorating. I like to do that, but I, it's something you have to devote your whole life to. I just did it because I knew... I knew what the movie should have, but I didn't realize, like, you know. Somebody called me up right after to do another thing. I'm like, huh? I'd have to really? quit the band. Uh, you have to devote your life to it. Like, what kind of stage are you at now with Creeps? Well, we're recording a record on our own. We're pretty casual, I guess is a good way to put it. Um, We've already been through a lot of the, you know, the cycle stuff. We went through a lot of the industry already, and and um, she has her store, and I work at the club, and and um, so we're not as hungry maybe as we were a while ago. So, you know, we play when we want to, and we want to, we really want to get this record out, but we're not. Um, we're probably as crazy. in, we have never given a tape out. Yeah, we're we <laughs> you know we don't scramble as much as we should. You know, we're and a little late. We're a little well, late maybe back. You're, about maybe it. you're satisfied with the pace. It's probably because we got so burnt before. Yeah, we're just like yeah, I think that's like the part. If somebody, of it. you know, they, that that band was like really, you know, we got to do this, and we're really ambitious, and we're you know big record companies, and and it, it just was, and yeah, and, and it was parts of it were great, but it was also really awful a lot of it like getting burnt in the way we did and, you burnt know. through the relationship that, 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 that you have to endure or burnt through the business through the business, business through the, the business end of it oh. so now we're kind of more focused on being we're into it because it's a creative outlet and we like i i really like this band and and um and we a lot of people come to our shows and yeah, we, we have a lot of fun we do pretty well but we're just not um, we're just like more creative about it and a lot less business oriented about it than we were with the last thing. But actually now that we finally are making a tape, some people have heard it that are in the business and they like it. So yeah, we really want to get even this, know how they heard it. We really want to get the C D out to so that people have something that they can hear. And you've built up a, a better lineup of people that you want to associate with. I'm sure you got a lot of experience in cycle slots uh, that teach you 
who you want to deal with now and how much you're going to give of yourself and you know would you say that you control the shots more now so yeah, or are you definitely plus a, one thing that that i learned that i think probably Junie learned too um we really learned that you have to follow your intuition with the music business and we didn't do that with the last band we kind of went along with what people told us we should do because we were inexperienced and felt that you know maybe other people knew better so that's a really nice thing for us is that this is our band and our, you know our creative thing and um, we were really very we really are very intuitive about the decisions that we make that's really interesting to know. I just really thought that because people were pretending like they knew what they were talking about, that they did. And I realize now that, you know, when that when that voice would say, hey, I don't like this guy, I should have, you know. Yeah, you say now, well, I, I was right. There was a reason, yeah. yeah. So that's the best advice that I can give people now is like, don't listen to people that sound like they know what they're talking about because they don't always. They don't always. That's true. Well, we are live on the internet going out to thousands and thousands of people. Most of our viewers come from Tokyo. Mushy, mushy. So we'd like to give a special shout out to the people in Tokyo. We are sensory.net on the internet. So if you're at home one night bored, maybe you didn't have time to come here, gawk at all the freaks at point, go, oh my God, look at that one. You can sit at home in front of your computer and you can find us on sensory.net. Yes, you can. Can't you, Lou? You can. And I was, Walt told me to be really serious and because I don't have a mind of my own, and you're cracking me up, and I keep laughing. That is great. <laughs> because here on Sensory.net, we are finally, for once, someone's found the right people. And that's you. Okay. Pretty soon we're going to have our own infomercial, me and Lil. What are we going to sell, Lil? <sighs> Hot dogs. We're gonna sell hot dogs, ladies and gentlemen, because we are gonna bring the all beef dog back to tofu. American home. Tofu dogs. To oh, tofu dogs. All the better. All the better. All the better. If a tofu dog won't do, honey, I've got one that'll work just as good. Okay. If a wiener won't work, what will? Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the hot dog. Okay. Power to the people. This right. band used to give me the heebie-jeebies. <laughs> But now they just give me the creeps. Ladies and gentlemen, we're on this day to one, the only, the creeps!
rock and roll. I want to see you moshing, moving, jumping, having a good time. Because Lord knows if we are sinners and if this is Sodom, then who the fuck cares? I'd like to be in hell with all of you. If going to heaven means I'm gonna hang out with a bunch of nuns and priests, some oppressed gay people, give me a break! Do you think I wanna hang out with a bunch of women who wanna fuck each other but won't come to terms with the fact that they like to munch on pussy? Or do you think I wanna hang out with a bunch of men who wanna molest young altar boys for the rest of eternity? Honey, I wanna be in the depths of hell, burning in the fires of sin, knowing that I can set myself free. Amen, hallelujah. Now, how many Catholics do we have in the house tonight? Well, enjoy yourselves because the Catholic Church is going down, down, down. Okay. So, if you were raised, if you were raised Catholic, welcome to my church, the Church of the Mistress Formica. Where here I only teach liberation, self-liberation. Do you feel liberated tonight? I should hope fucking so, for God's sakes. I mean. For mistress sake. Uh, boy, are we arrogant tonight. Okay. No, I'm serious. Did you not know that Anne Rice bought out a Catholic church in New Orleans and the Catholic church wrote to her and said, how dare you buy this church? Give it back to us. And she wrote back to them, fuck you, you pieces of shit. I'm putting the money to restore it. I'm letting it go on and on and on. I'm reviving this beautiful piece of architecture that you were gonna let go for the low, low price of $1.95. Well, this is not a Catholic flea market and you do not have dibs on my soul. All right, 